OK, welcome, everyone. We'll be starting with questions now. That's all we have time for today, thank you. When the journey begins, you never quite know who's going to be there at the end. Now only two teams left in the cup, and we're left wondering who's going to be lifting it. We'll have every kick of the ball for you live on EA TV. Well, there is nothing quite like this occasion. Welcome to the UEFA Champions League final. The best two teams in Europe this season preparing to go head-to-head -head for the crown. This is Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined, as always, on these big occasions by the former Arsenal and England defender, Lee Dixon. It is Borussia Dortmund against Atletico Madrid. Well, I'm so excited for the players. We see them coming out there. Excited because of what they've got ahead of them. Are they nervous? Looking at them closely in the eyes. Nerves play a big part in games like this, Derek. I'm nervous for them. Who's going to be the hero? Makers, but Atletico are certainly not here in the final to have a good rest three times before finalists and they want to make this opportunity count Lee. Absolutely and that's something to do with the red and white kit I might add isn't it? Yes. <laughs> just, just checking. Just to clarify. Yeah forever the bridesmaid and I think when you get to so many finals and you don't quite get over the line it boils down to belief as long as they believe they've got the talent can they push to the next level. Atletico's European story is a compelling one. I remember Lee as a young boy watching Atletico in the final of the old European Cup, losing to Bayern after a replay that was staged two days after the initial final. Well, exactly. They have got a rich past, and certainly moving forward, Atletico Madrid will always look at the Champions League and expect to progress to the latter stages. Under the shadow of Real Madrid, yes, but they don't half create a shadow for themselves as well. This is it, the Champions League final. They are underway. Who will be crowned club kings of Europe? Here's the starting 11 for Borussia Dortmund. Roman Burki gets the nod in goal. Manuel Akanji plays with Mats Hummels in central defence. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. And it was a very good looking move, but alas, no end product. Andrei Kramaric. Individual quality coming to the fore. This is the starting lineup for Atletico. Saul starts with Thomas Partey in central midfield. And an attack, Diego Costa starts with Andrei Kramaric up front. Manuel Akanji. Axel Witzel. Well, absolutely no doubt about it. Saul is a very bright talent. What are you expecting to see from him today, Lee? 
Well, I love watching him. He's got quick feet, quick mind. He wants you to come close to you so he can get past you. So his defenders normally stand off him, and then he's got more time to pick the pass he wants, and he normally finds the best one. On the ball, Jorgen Azar. Brandt. Good, sir. Just drifted into the illegal position. Offside, in the opinion of the officials. Jaden Sancho read it superbly to take back possession. Andre Kramaric. And Felipe with it. Comfortable on the ball, moving it forward here, Atletico. Trying to make it a bit more difficult. Slipping it through. Partey. And the defender takes care of business. <laughs> and Koke with the delivery. Thomas, Thomas Lemar might be able to get in behind the defence. And Diego Costa is waiting. Not all that convincing defensively. And Kramaric on the ball. He's lost it. It might be perfectly set up for the counter attack, you know. Defenders need to cover. Must score! And a goal for Borussia Dortmund in the final. A yellow wall wherever you look. Well, the game's all about goals, and we've got our first one in the Champions League final. Well, I do just love goals like this. On the breakaway, they soak up the pressure. You have to be organised when you haven't got the ball to break into the positions when you get the ball and hit the team on the counter-attack. And it's a clinical finish at the end of it as well. Well, he's every right to be angry. The players are not executing his game plan today. Back underway, Borussia Dortmund with the advantage. Number 28, Axel Witzel. And Kramaric on the ball. He has teammates to play it to. Saul. And they'll have to throw it back in play. Saúl, and scope for the cross. And after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw-in. It's with Saúl. Kramaric, and a no-nonsense clearance. Koke, and the through ball by Diego Costa. Well, great read there to intercept. Thomas now. Saul. And he was in the right place to intercept. 
We've been waiting to find out. Now we know a minimum of three added minutes here. It's there for him. And this was at home. Well, he stumped it out of there without much fuss. Pumas. Witzel. Half time then. And we're sorry for the pause in the proceedings here, Lee, because this has been a thoroughly riveting Champions League final so far. Well, it has. Great game. Sometimes finals can be cagey affairs, but not this one. Let's hope Derek in the second half will get more of that. It's been really, really entertaining. Into the second half, then, in this battle for Champions League glory. Saúl. Thomas. It's with Saúl. Passing it around with a plum. Well, the attack promising as it was. Scuppered there. Borussia Dortmund have given it away. Well, as the stats show you, Atletico enjoying the bulk of possession here. After that, it's been a little bit disappointing. Creativity in midfield is a little bit off. Certainly a too slow in front of goal. Need to get wide, need to get crosses in the box. Diego Costa. Nothing wrong with that idea. And up for grabs off the keeper. Well, they're still behind Derek, aren't they? But how? What incredible goalkeeper that was. The conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Hakimi. Back from the byline. And a goal here for Borussia Dortmund. Can they be stopped? Look at this again, a counter-attack goal on the break and how good they are at it. They have pace, they have intelligence to exploit the space and they did it to perfection. Oh, to be a fly on the wall in that dressing room, if it stays like this, Derek, he's not happy. Just look at him. So, 2-0 now. Borussia Dortmund goal! Number 10, Mario Goethe. And here's Lamar. It's with Saul. He's given it straight to the opposition. Wasteful in possession, Royce. And he takes on the shot. Not all that difficult for Oblak to save. It's with Saul. Thomas. It's uh, not quite the ball that was required. Hummers. Given away by Dortmund. Well, it's come down to the final 20 minutes here. Now Jimenez. Thomas. Andre Kramaric. Koke with it. Mats Hummels wins the challenge. Hummels. Brandt with it. And green space aplenty for Dortmund to run into. Good sir. Royce. Keeper's contribution, but what next? Witzel. Just knocking it a Good sir. And he has just veered into an offside position this time. Coming off the pitch. There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes. And now both sides will make personnel switches. Saul. A 
And let's make no bones about it. This is a thorough thrashing lead. Well, those athletic players better get their earplugs on at full time. The coach is going to go ballistic in that dressing room. Lack of intensity, no real hunger, no passion in the game. Shocking at the back too. Joao Felix, it needs an accurate cross. And it's gone out of play, goal kick coming up. And five minutes to go. Paco Alcata, Brun Larsson. Promising attack this from Borussia Dortmund. What can they do from here? Options are plenty. And he put it away. Well, and pumped away. Number 28, Axel Witzel. He's feeling the pressure here. Without the official word, there will be a minimum of two added minutes. Larson. Effective challenge. And the final whistle, the cup issue is settled. A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught. And Lee, memories are being made. Yeah, absolutely. It doesn't matter how much money you've got in the bank. Players will always look back at moments like these. These moments where you pick trophies up and win medals, absolutely brilliant for this group of players. Yep, you can see what it means to this tight-knit team. Real solidarity. And now for the official part of their presentation. As a player, Lee, it doesn't get much better than this for Dortmund. No, it doesn't get in your hands on a trophy when you think about it, Derek. In each league, there's only the league trophy and maybe a couple of cups. And then this European trophy to go for. Not that many winners in a season. But fortunately, Dortmund are one of them this season. And Borussia Dortmund have the trophy in their possession. A team with a rich European tradition. And it's official, Dortmund are number one in Europe. Lots and lots of celebrating will be going on tonight. They won't be thinking about next season for a while. All of a sudden, they've won the trophy, and now they can savour it. Well, this is the moment I love, sharing it with the fans. Ticker tapes coming down, families in the stand, giving them all away. But they've travelled all over Europe watching this team. Now they get to share in this moment. Fantastic. To fire as well as ice on the pitch. Well, they've come together in this competition as a team and they're celebrating together now, fully deserved. And you are looking at the best club side in Europe. time
Thank you for your time.